Hello friends, here is an IR remote control. And I have already registered this key of the remote with the project to control the LED connected to my Arduino. But unfortunately, this key got damaged and stopped working at all. Now, I want to use this power key as a replacement to control the LED. So, first I will register this key with the project without touching a single line of the code. Once the new key is successfully registered, I can use it to control the LED connected to my Arduino. Let's do it one more time. This time, I will register this stop key with the project. And after registering the key, I can use it to control my LED. This project also allows you to change your entire remote control at any time without making any changes to the current setup. First you need to register a key of your new remote control. Once the new remote control is registered, you can use it to control the LED or even other devices such as relays. But wait, there's more. You can also register your entire remote control with the project to control multiple LEDs. Additionally, you have the option to use multiple relays to control high voltage devices like AC bulbs and fans. And the best part is that, you won't need to make any changes to the existing code. So, let's get started. Now, let's take a closer look at the components used in this project. The first one is Arduino Uno. The heart and brain of our project. Next, I have the 38 kHz IR receiver. This component enables the Arduino to receive IR signals from the infrared remote control. It's important to note that there are other types of IR receivers that you can use with this project. Next, you will need some LEDs with 1K resistors. Next, you will need relay module. It allows you to switch high power devices such as appliances or lights using the Arduino and remote control. Finally, you will need a push button for the project. This button will be used to enter in the remote control registration mode. Now, let's connect all these components and set up the hardware. First, you will need to connect the 5 volt pin of the Arduino to the positive rail of the breadboard and the ground pin to the negative rail of the breadboard. This will provide power to our components. Now, let's connect the IR receiver to the Arduino. Connect the signal pin of the IR receiver to pin 7 of the Arduino. Connect the ground pin to the ground rail on the breadboard. Finally, connect the VCC pin to the 5 volt supply on the breadboard. This ensures the communication between the IR receiver and the Arduino. Next, let's connect the push button to the Arduino Uno. Connect one end of the push button to pin 6 of the Arduino and connect the other end to the ground rail on the breadboard. This button will be used to enter in the remote control registration mode. It will allow you to easily change the remote controls without modifying the code. Lastly, let's connect the LED. First connect the longer leg of LED to pin 8 of the Arduino. Then, connect the shorter leg to a current limiting resistor and the other end of the resistor will be connected to the ground. Now our hardware setup is ready. Let's move to the coding section of this project. Here, first I have included the EEPROM library, which enables the Arduino to permanently store the remote keys in its EEPROM memory. This means that, even if you power off the Arduino, the IR remote keys will remain saved in the EEPROM and will never be deleted. Next, you need to install the IR remote library. You can install it from the library manager. Here search for IR remote. Here is the IR remote library. You just install the same version. This library allows you to receive IR signals from an IR remote control. Next, I have defined a constant called config button. This constant represents the pin number where the push button is connected. In our case, 
The push button is connected to the pin 6 of Arduino board. So I have set this constant to 6. The second constant I have defined here is IR receive pin. It represents the pin number where the IR receiver is connected. In our case, it is pin number 7. Next, here I have declared an array called LED pins. This array is used to specify the pin numbers where the LEDs are connected. Currently, I have only one LED which is connected to pin 8, so I have included this pin number in the array. Lastly, I have defined another constant called num hex codes. Here you can define the number of remote control keys you want to register with the project. For now, I will set it to 1 since I have only one LED. However, you can increase this number if you want to register more keys. This code supports the registration of up to 256 keys of a remote control. So, you can easily register the entire remote control with the project. Now the code is ready. The remaining sections of the code remain unchanged. I have made every effort to ensure that the code remains straightforward and easy to understand. But yet it is very powerful and flexible. You can easily add more LEDs to the project without making any major changes to the code. Even if you decide to use relays into your setup, there is no need to modify a single line of code. You can download the code from the description of this video. Now the code is ready. You just click on upload button to upload the code on Arduino. Next, let's understand how to register a key of your remote control with the project. This process is incredibly straightforward. You just press this push button and the built-in LED on your Arduino will start blinking rapidly. This indicates that the Arduino is ready to register the new remote control. Now, press any key on the remote control that you want to register. Now if you look at the built-in LED, you can notice it has turned off. This indicates that the key you pressed is successfully registered with the project. After a 3 second delay, the built-in LED on the Arduino will automatically turn on. It indicates that the Arduino is now ready to control the LED using the registered key. This way, you can register any IR remote with the project at any time. Now let's learn how to control multiple LEDs using the same code. In this example, I have connected 4 LEDs to pins 8 to 11 on the Arduino board. To control these LEDs, you need to modify the code by adding these pin numbers. Here, you just need to modify these two lines of the code. First, you simply update the LED pins array with the pin number of the LEDs. And finally, set the value of num hex codes constant to 4, since we are controlling 4 LEDs this time. After making these changes, upload the modified code to the Arduino board to see if it is working or not. Before testing the LEDs, we need to register the keys of the IR remote control with the project. So, follow the same process we used earlier in this video. Now the keys are registered, so let's test the project. Here you can see, I am easily controlling the LEDs using my remote control. Next, you can replace the LEDs with a relay module. Here, the relay module is connected to the same pins as the LEDs. So it does not require to update the pin numbers in the code, as these are the same pins where the LEDs are connected. That's all for now. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. See you in the next video. Bye.